All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, who is worthy to be counted for double honors. All right, and peace and salutation to you brothers that's out there pushing the truth and our love and sincerity and the love of the gospel. All right. Um, the name of this um, video is going to be the um, the ignorance, um, the ignorance of idols. All right, because that's exactly what you that's exactly what you are if you follow those guys, man. And when I say those guys, I'm talking about those idols, man, because they're they're nothing but um, they're nothing but idols. All right, following the, the uh, being ignorant of these idols, you know. It is basically you're you're being ignorant, man. All right, because these idols have no truth and no light within them. Okay, the only per the only one that has truth and light is within them is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. All right, following after these idols will get you will lead you to death. All right, that's exactly what it's gonna lead you into. It's pure it is is your own utter destruction. All right. In complete folly, any idol that you think of, all right. Every anything can be an idol, all right. Leading up to your shoes, leading up to money, to a person, you know, to the clothes that's on your back. If you idolize your clothes, to your job, you know. So hey, anything can be your idol. Anything that you put your time, uh, more time into. Uh, uh, um, anything that you put more time into besides the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is an idol, all right? That can be your job. That can be your family, your kids, your woman. Anything, man. All right? So without further ado, let's get into these scriptures, man. All right? First scripture um, I'm going to read is this is Levit Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 1. And it reads, it says, Yea. It says, Yea. Shall he says ye shall make no it's like it's like I'm reading to me. It says ye shall make you no idols nor grave graven images, neither reap, neither rear your it's like it says neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am the Lord your God, yea, ye it says ye shall keep my Sabbath and and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Alright? So that was a commandment, man. Alright? That's actually the first commandment. You know? Uh uh uh, uh ye shall have no other God before me, alright? And the Lord was serious about that, man. Why? It's because the Lord is jealous, alright? Why do you think we went into captivities, man? Why do you think we went into a boat uh 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 um why do you think we went into um, uh, 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 every captivity you think of, man? Because we transgressed against the Lord, all right? Thus, the Lord said he's going to deliver us no more, like it says in the Judges, like I have like I have written down right here, you know, that we're going to get into, all right? It says he's not going to deliver us no more because we fell onto other gods, man. We start worshiping other gods, man. Israel start going off, all right? Next scripture. Um... Next scripture we're going to get is Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 30. And it says, I will do this thing unto, unto thee. It says, because thou have, grown, have gone and worship. It says, I will do this thing unto thee, because thou have gone and whoring after the heathen. And because thou art polluted with their God, with their idols. Thou have walked in the way of thy sister. Therefore, you know, I might have to skip up to verse 29. Yeah, yeah, yeah verse 29. Yep, yeah, yeah, verse 29. Uh, it says, and thou shalt, dwell, thou, shalt, thou shalt deal with thine hateful and shall take away all thy labor and shall leave thy nakedness and bear and the nakedness of thy whoredoms shall be discovered. Both thy slewest and thy whoredoms. I will do these things unto thee, 
because thou have gone and whoring after the heathens. How are we going whoring after the heathens, man? It's because we went and go serve and serve their other gods, man. We went to go serve their gods. Like it says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, it says what? Uh, 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 go not in the ways of the Gentiles, man. Go not in the way of the heathens, man. Because we're not supposed to serve their gods, man. We're not supposed to serve the God of Ammon or the God of Moab or the God of Esau or the God of Ham or Elam, you know. Got Ishmaelites or any or any of these nations, man. We're not supposed to serve their God, man, because we have ours, man. We have our God, and our God is uh, the living God. All right, Yahweh Baha Shem is our God. All right. Um. The next scripture that I'm going to get. That I'm going to read is going to be uh, Habakkuk, namely Habakkuk. All right, is going to be chapter two, verse eighteen. It says, "What profit the graven image that the maker therefore hath graven it?" It says, "The more the molten image, and the teacher of lies that the maker of his works trusted therein." that dumb that make dumb idols that's like you're making you're making something to worship you're not it's supposed to be the opposite around you're supposed to make things that to worship you all right if you if it's so-called a god that's isn't that what gods do gods create things to worship them you're making something to worship you're making let's say you're making an, a, a, a a a car you're making a car you, you you're putting everything into that car you just start serving that car yes uh, this is the god this is my god like, what sense do that make you're you just put hand you just put you just put that you just made that car come into existence what what power does that car have you know let's read that over it says it says the molten image and the teacher of lies that the maker of his works trust therein so you're, you're trusting in something that you're because you're a maker you made that thing all right it says to the to the make of dumb idols all right and that's exactly what they are they're dumb man they cannot talk they can't breathe they can't eat they can't sweat they can't do none of that man because they're dumb they're just they're just there all right it says woe unto them that saith unto the wood or awake you know you're saying it to that wooden cross you got awake arise you know uh uh uh, 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 uh let me praise you let, do something that i know you're alive you know it says to make to make dumb stone arise it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over the gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. All right. So all that that, that gold chains and and and, and 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 gold crosses and cross cross earrings and wooden crosses that you got on your uh, grandma's mantle and shit. All that man, this, this shit's uh, pure wickedness, man. That's straight adultery, man. Idolatry. All right. Because you're worshiping idols, man. It has nothing to do with Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Sha. All right. Um, next scripture I'm going to pull is going to be three and thirteen. Yep. Okay. This is um Exodus. Chapter 23 and verse 13, it says, And it and in all things that I have laid I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Alright, so you don't even supposed to mention these guides, these gods out of your name, man. And when it's talking about out of your name, when it's talking about mentioning the gods out of your name, it's talking about praising them, you know, saying, Oh, Worshipping thou, you know, whatever gods you can think of, man. You don't supposed to praise these gods, man. All right. Now, if you're saying them like basically for edification's sake, man, you're all good, man. If you're saying, hey, don't praise that god, you can't. You really say that god without edifying. You say, hey, man, don't praise Jesus, man. Don't praise Allah. Don't praise um uh uh the shit what's more the the Buddha or don't praise you know all the other you know that it's all for edification's sakes, man. So you're okay with that, man. That's what Elder to uh, Elder uh, Ramla said. You know, with all I get and get understanding, he went into that um, mentioning of other gods, man. He said basically, you don't supposed to teach. You know, you don't supposed to teach about these other gods, man, because they have no life in them, man. You teaching about these other gods, 
uh, or any other other religions, man. That's profane, man. That's nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. It has nothing. It, it, it most it most definitely has nothing to do with your salvation. It's about far from your salvation as you can think, man. Serving another God, man. Actually, matter of fact, that's probably. That's probably turn around. You you asking to be more in sla slavery, man, because that's exactly what it's gonna lead you to, man. If you don't believe me, man, look at history, man. Look at the Israelites' history, man. All right. Next scripture. I'm going to get. It's going to be the book of Joshua. Is what we are reading in the brothers at Indiana. Is what we are reading. Um, Joshua the seventh chapter, this the twenty third chapter, verse seven, where it says, "It says that ye come not among." Let me start up. It says, it "says Be ye therefore very courageous, courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses. That ye turn not aside therefrom, therefrom to the right hand or to the left." It says that he come not among the nation. Uh, uh shlack, I lost my place. It says that he come not among these nations, these that remain, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the names of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow down yourself unto them. It says, but cleave unto the Lord your God, as ye have done unto this day. All right, so you're supposed to cleave unto who? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. You're not supposed to praise no other God, no other God you're not supposed to swear unto. You're not supposed to even, uh, 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 so all that, oh Jesus, you know, all that, man. Hey, that that's, that's going off and everything, man. If you're saying that, man, the Lord is going to destroy you, all right? Get these other gods' name out of your vocabulary, man. All right? If it's not for edification, man, these gods' names should not be coming out your mouth. If it's not for edification's sake, man. All right. Um. Next scripture I'm going to get is um. Roughly my favorite. That's going to be Judges chapter ten, verse fourteen. This is Judges chapter 10. I'm going to start from 13. It says, Yet, it's like, let me focus it up. There we go. It says, Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. This is the Lord basically talking. It says, Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Therefore I would deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods ye have chosen. It's basically like you, basically you've been with your chick, you know, you, let's say you've been with your woman for two years. You know, dudes is all trying to, Dudes are all trying to get all up on her, touch all on her and shit like that. And you kicking these niggas' asses, man, knocking their ass out and shit. And she's being ungrateful to you, saying, I don't need you, nigga. I can have me another nigga anytime. And, and, and she fucking around on you and shit like that. And, you, you know, you you trying to be patient with her. Say, listen, man, you need to stop fucking around on me, man. If I, if I put your ass to death, or I, I get rid of your ass. And then she's like, fuck you, nigga. And she all talking shit in your face, man. She go, you know, behind your back and, and, and kick us with other dudes and shit like that. And you be and you be like, you know what, man? You know what? Fuck that, man. I said, man, go, 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 go into one of them niggas, man. Let's see, let's see what one of them niggas uh, 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 kick ass for you, kick ass for you, and, and uh, 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 protect you and uh, uh, protect you when your time has come, man. When it's hell hit, man. All right. This is basically what the Lord is saying, man. He said, man, you keep you got you, you, you fucking people, man. You keep serving these other guys, man. Hey, man, let them guys go deliver you, man. Let the guys that you have chosen deliver you in your time of tribulation, man. All right. You think I'm fucking around, man? All right? Let them dumb guys, man, deliver you, man. All right? This is exactly how the Lord feels, man. All right? It says, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, we have sinned. It says, do thou unto us whatever seemed good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee this day. So Israel was like, okay, we're sorry. You know, he was all repentant in there. You know, that's, that's, that's Jake 101, man. Jake gets... Repentance and wants to come back to the Lord when uh, 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 um, when the Lord stopped dealing with him, man. All right, that's why it says in the book of uh, Hosea, it says, "What in the time of their affliction they shall seek me, man." That's why you, you see all these uh, 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 
uh, Jake's uh, Israelites out here, man, they don't really don't care about God. You don't really see anybody going into the Bible like uh, um, the men of GMS are doing. All right? You don't see nobody really going into it like the elders of the apostles of Great Millstone, man. You don't see nobody doing that, man. And if they are, man, they're doing it to, they're doing it in vain because they don't got the they don't got the uh, the true um the true understanding of it, man. Because you have to have men teaching you other understanding, man. All right. But as far man, you don't have nobody going to the because nobody really cares about it, man. Uh, I go to the average person saying, hey, asking basic scriptures that an uh, 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 ordinary Israelite, even somebody in IUIC or GLCC or anybody of those camps would know. These guys are like, they would be completely clueless, man. They don't want to know what this word means. They don't want to know what that word means. They don't know the Hebrew word. For, they would be completely clueless, man. Because guess what, man? They don't have interest in this, man. This, this right here, these two right here together, they don't give two flying fucks. Even though they have every Israelite probably has a fucking Bible. Shock him. Every Israelite probably has a Bible in their, uh, um, in their house or in their grandma's house or somewhere in their presence. Even though you have it, doesn't mean, oh, okay, oh, I'm, I'm saved, oh, I, I believe in the Bible. They never picked it up and read it for yourself, man, all right? And the ones that do read it, read it in vain because they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're reading. And, and Jesus said that, that whosoever call upon my name shall be saved. They don't know what they're talking about, man. They don't know what the word, what them words mean, all right? So you're reading it all in vain. So nobody's really going into this like the Great Millstone, man. That's when it says, man, uh, these people. But guess what? I bet you if they, they had to get a job, what they going to do, man? They going to study for any type of test that comes. They going to do any type of certifications that come. Any requirements. They're going to get all those requirements checked off that list, man. That's how, because they want that job, man. You have to actually want this thing, man. All right? So when the Lord comes back, man, he's going to look at your requirements. and like, oh, well, this is required. You didn't do this. Oh, this is required. You didn't do this. Oh, this is required. You didn't do this. Oh, you didn't go out on the highways and byways. That's required. You, you didn't have my name. That's required. Um, Oh, you didn't have the mark of election. That's required. You If you don't have all those requirements, man, hey, you a done deal, man. All right? You you, you, you done, man. And by me saying that, that just made me think of another uh, a whole uh, different type of sit down, man. That I'm a name. I'm probably going to do another one I get to the house, man, called Requirements of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You know? Because there's certain requirements you have to have when he comes back, man. All right? Um. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, that's, that's a good one right here. This is Psalms. Just to show you back, to get back on the idols. Um. Oh, shit, I went to 69. I am to 96. Uh. This is Psalms chapter 96 verse 4 It says It says for the Lord is great And greatly to be praised He is to be feared above all gods Alright and exactly man Because why Because our Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is the living God man Alright he's the living It says for all the gods of the nations are idols See all those other gods are, na are idols to the nations, man. They're the, they're the gods to those nations, all right? They're not our gods. They're, ne they're not the Israelites' gods, man. And eventually, man, guess what? They're going to be cut off. Where Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to be the only god, all right? There isn't going to be no other god names or, or, or written in a, uh, when the kingdom comes, man. The Lord's going to come and cut all that shit out, man. So eventually, hey, they're not, gonna, they're not even going to be in remembrance, man. When we in the kingdom, man, and if I'm part of the, and I, if I'm part of that, like, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, you, a fucking other nations, man, but I don't even think the name, man. If I, if I ever hear a, a, a thought come past your mind about the other guy's name, man, I'm, yo, yo, your ass is going to wish you never even thought that, man. All right. I can't even, I can't even think what I'll do to you, man. So I'm just going to wait till I get to the kingdom, man. When I get a hundred percent of my, uh, when I get a hundred percent knowledge, man, when I used to use a hundred percent of my brain, that's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm going to use it for, man. That's what I'm going to think of something, man. Because I know whatever I'm going to think of, man, is going to be, whew, epic. All right? So, yeah, man, these gods of these other nations, man, are idols, man. All of them, man. There's not one that can uh, uh, is on the level of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right? Um, let's get... Some Here we go, fine. 
and I'm going to start. I'm gonna start from one. I'm gonna start from the top. All right. Um, the next three scriptures I got are pretty long, and I'm already in 20 minutes. So you know what? I'm just gonna read um this one and probably the one in Bell and a Dragon. Oh, you know, I'll probably read all three of them. You know, yeah, well, really. Um, this is uh First Samuel chapters 5 verse 1 it says and the philistines took the ark of yahweh and this is when um basically um the israelites and philistine were going back back and forth into war and they had uh took the, took our ark and put it in you know you brothers know the the story and this is um yeah it says and the philistines took the ark of yahweh and brought it unto ebi ebiezer unto ashdod ashdod it says uh, when the Philistines took the ark of Yahweh, they brought it unto the house of Dagod and set it by Dagod, which is a fish god of the Philistines, which is an idol. All right, it says, and I don't know, I'll try to focus it. Damn, it's blurry. Here we go. It says. It says, and they got and set it by they got, and when the and when they rolled Ashdod, Ashdod uh, 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 arose early in the morrow. It says, behold, they got was fallen, and his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took they got and set and set him in his place again. See, why did they got get up himself and dust himself off and get and set back down, man? Because it was an idol, man. The Lord was proving that, man. The Lord was like, hey man, this idol is not uh, uh, uh um this idol is not uh uh worthy to stand next to the ark, man. So boom, he knocked it down, back on his face, you know? Where he should be lump where she's where, where where it should belong, man. Alright? And it says It says, and then and when they arose early on the morrow uh, when they early on the morrow morning, behold, they God was falling upon his face the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of they got and both arms of his hands were cut off upon upon the threshold. Only the trunk, only the stump of they got was left therein. So the Lord completely destroyed it. All right. It says, therefore, he said, we knocked it down. They picked it back up. He said, OK, you want to pick it back? OK, boom, he destroyed it. All right. It says, therefore, neither, neither, neither the priests of they got nor any of uh, nor any that come into their God house tread on the threshold of their God and Ashdod unto this day. It says, but the hands of the Lord was heavy upon the Ashdod, Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emrods, even Ashdod, even Ashdod as the coast thereof. So basically the Lord not only destroyed, you know, destroyed they um the idol man, he sent a plague of emrods onto them, man, which I I, I I believe it's a boil. It's been a while since I actually looked up what Emrods was, but I believe it's some type of boils, like a real nasty boil. And he sent that upon every, everybody upon that uh, name, man. Everybody upon that land, Slocky, man. So these uh, 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 these uh, 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 nations took the Ark of the Lord in vain, man. So he was like, you know what? Boom, you know, destroyed the idols, man, and sent a plague upon them, man. So that was that was gruesome. All right. So they wasn't. They was like, you know what? Fuck this. Hey, let them get. They let them get. Hey, let them get this art back, man. You know they was not playing, man. So next scripture I'm gonna get is Bell and the Dragon, which can be found in Apocrypha, which I believe. No, that's next. That could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start from. I believe start from. Uh, start from three, and. I'm going to just read a gist of it, you know, because to be honest, brothers, I, I will say this whole chapter, Bell and Dragon whole chapter gets into the idols because Bell was an idol unto Babylon and dr the dragon was also. So this whole chapter will basically go go good with this, um, this segment, but, um, I'm only going to read the gist of it. Um, I'm not going to get fully too much into it. Uh, it says, um, hold on, let me see, can I... Trying to get a good angle. Damn. 
there we go. That's good. Okay. It says, um, it says, uh, I'm going to start from verse 3. It says, now, this is Bell and Dragon chapter 1, verse 3. It says, now the Babylonians had an idol called Bell, and there were sent upon him every day twelve great measures of fine flour, and the four sheep, and six vessels of wine. And the, and the king worshipped it, and went daily to adorn it. But Daniel worshipped his own god, which is Yahweh, and and the and the God said and it says and the king said unto him, Why does not thou worship Baal? And he answered and, and said, Because I am not I am not worshiping, because I may not worship idols made with hands. He cut them. Says, But the living God, who hath created the heavens and the earth, and have sovereignty over all flesh. It says that said the said that said the king of it says, Then said the king upon him, Think thou not that Baal is a living God? Seest thou not that how how much he eateth and drinketh every day? It says then it says, Then Daniel smiled. Basically was making fun of him, like shit. But it says, Then Daniel smiled and said, O king, be not deceived, for this is but clearly clay. Within. It says in brass without, and did neither eat or drink anything. Alright? So basically, uh, basically Daniel cut the king, man, saying, you know, hey, man, yo, 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 idols is just clay, man. They can't eat, they can't drink, man. Stop lying, all right. And then that's when you know, basically, the story goes into where they put it into a temple and see did they eat it and drink it, you know. This is, you know, so um, uh, 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 the next um scripture I'm going to get is um the chapter Baruch. Chapter four. I'm sorry. Chapter six, verse four. Um, there we go. It says, "Um, this is Baruch chapter six, verse four. It says, Now shall ye see in Babylon.' It says, and now shall ye see in Babylon gods of silver and of gold and wood borne upon shoulders.' This is when um, uh, 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 uh we were going into um." the Babylonian captivity uh, for seven generations, which it says in the verse 3. It says, um, which caused the nations to fear. It says, behold, beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like the strangers, neither be afraid of them. When ye see the when ye see the multitude before them and, be, and behind them, worship them. It says, but say unto your heart, O Lord, we must worship thee, for mine angels is with you. And myself carried for yourself for your souls, as for the for their tongues it is polished with the worksmen, they shall they shall make says a day, and they themselves are gowed and laid over with silver, yet are they but falsely and cannot and cannot speak. So basically he's saying don't don't get all, you know, whipped over how these um don't get all whipped all over how these idols look. You know, they might have the the, the, the goldly apparel and the silver and all the goodly raiment. But, man, these, these, these guys can't speak, man. They're dead, man. All right? This is, and they're just for a show. All right? It says, and take gold as it were for a virgin that loveth to be to go gay, which is happy, that makes crowns for her heads of her gods. Sometimes also the priests con convey, convey from their gods God, from their gods, from their gods, silk, gold and silver, and bestow it upon themselves. So, <laughs> it says, see, look, it says, sometimes also the priests convey from the gods gold and silver. So they take the gold and silver and what bestow it upon themselves. So there's like, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna take that and borrow it right quick, God. All right, so yeah, so they they know these guys, man. It's not you know they man, they know these guys are not real, man. All right, it says, yay, they will give them. They would give thereof to the com command the commanded harlot, and deck them as men with garments, being gods of silver, and gods of gold and wood. It says, "Yet can these gods save themselves from rust and moth, through though they be covered with purple raiment?" Right. If you you decked with all this good, uh, godly raiment, you know, and 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 and, and good raiment and stuff, can you still? dust yourself off can you still wipe your face from uh the, the, the dust and the moth you know 
that comes on idle uh, that comes on uh, uh that comes on objects man that day, uh, especially my dresser my dresser gets extremely dusty if i don't dust it every uh probably twice a week you know um or two times a week slacky i was thinking two times a week um ah slacky uh fucking uh uh, 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 one time every two two weeks. That's what I meant. Twice every uh, once every t- uh, two times a week. I'm backing the shit up. But anyways, um, it says they wipe their face because of the dust of the temple when there is much upon them. And he that cannot put to death one that offend him, holding holding a scepter as he were a judge of the court. Right? Can 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 these guys kill? Can they can they can they judge the offender? In them, if somebody offends them, no man, they can't. It says he hath also. It's like it says he hath also in his right hand a dagger and an axe, but cannot deliver himself from war or thieves. Right. So you know these guys might have worldly opinion like an axe or a spear or a gun or anything like that, man. But if you put that, if you put that idol in the war, is it gonna save itself? Is it gonna kill every man that's on that war, man? Or is it gonna be you know broken? It's man. They, uh, anyways, it says, thereby they are known not to be gods. Therefore, fear them not. All right. So that's basically, you know, what um, how was saying, man. He said, man, these, these are not gods, man. You know, fear them not, man. You know, they 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 they're, they're nothing but idols. All right. All right. So, with that, I just want to you know talk about these you know false gods, man. If you in that, if you believe in another gods, man, hey, man, fall back. Worship, uh, no worship. Um, yeah, well, worship you. How about Shimi? I was shy. Learn up under the elders and uh, uh, learn up under the elders and the men of Great Millstone. You know, you know, and, and, and that's basically all I can really say, man. You know, that's it in a nutshell. You know, so with that, I want to give all praise to you. How about Shimi? I was shy. All honor and glory to you. How about Shimi? I was shy. Double honors to the elders and then the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, who is worthy to be counted for double honors. All right. And um, peace and salutations to you brothers that's out there pushing this truth all heartedly, all wholeheartedly, sincerely, in love of the gospel. All right. Shalom.